All right, joining us now uh, to get the Republican response is the, uh, is the uh, chairman of the Republican National Committee, Reince Priebus. Uh, Reince, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, the president was very, very confident. Uh, some would say defiant. Uh, you might not have necessarily known the Democrats suffered a huge setback in the midterm elections only a couple months or so ago, but he, he clearly seemed to be resonating with a lot of folks on the middle class right now. So what's your reaction to his various proposals to help the middle class and maybe make the, the, the extremely wealthy pay a little bit more in taxes or make the banks, the big financial institutions, pay a little bit more? They were bailed out by American taxpayers six years ago. As you know, what's wrong with that? Well, I mean, my initial reaction is I thought the entire speech was sort of just strangely aloof to the world around him, whether it be foreign policy or domestic policy. So it seemed like he was detached from reality. Now, as to the, 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 the rhetoric on the middle class, I think the rhetoric is obviously po political, but it really isn't truthful either, because what you've seen in the economy is that the jobs that have been added are jobs at the top and jobs at the very bottom, and it's actually the middle class that's hemorrhaging. And as to the middle class, there are fewer people today waking up in the morning and going to work than we've seen since Jimmy Carter's been president. So, I mean, he just has fundamental problems with relaying the truth. And so that's the first thing. The second thing but he, is, but I hold, on was second, hold on, right, so just had, uh, hold on one second, because he says maybe he appreciates that, maybe he knows that the middle class is suffering. That's why he was reaching out and trying to help the middle class with these new tax breaks, these new tax credits, to go ahead and, and get the middle class a little bit more uh, uh, special treatment. Understood, but the, the problem is, is that 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 statement that he made that what we're doing is working just isn't true because if he wants to tackle the middle class he's not getting the job done because the middle class has never been more worse off since you know 30 40 years ago and so let me just get to the second point the second point is he talks about bipartisanship and in in reality uh, he talked about on one hand bipartisanship in the first uh, part of the speech in the second part of the speech he talked about vetoing everything that that we've been talking about on the Republican side that actually created this wave that we had in November. So again, two different worlds that he's living in. I think that, that we can get some things done though, Wolf, and here's where I think the upside is. The upside is I know that people like Paul Ryan want to work with the president on tax loopholes and some of the things that there's mutual agreement on, that some, pe some companies and some entities out there shouldn't be getting away with some of the things that they are, and I think Paul Ryan wants to deal with that. But on the same hand, he has to work with the Republicans on trying to create a, 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 you know, a lower, flatter tax that's fair to, to people yeah. across the country. So I, I think if there, he's I, willing to give and take, I think he's got an audience. I, I think there are some opportunities in eliminating some tax, tax loopholes. I think the Republicans want to work with the uh, president on infrastructure, building bridges and ports, sewage treatment facilities and all that. I want to play another clip, what the president said, referring to the Keystone Pipeline. Listen to this. Let's set our sights higher than a single oil pipeline. Let's pass a bipartisan infrastructure plan that could create more than 30 times as many jobs per year and make this country stronger for decades to come. Let's do it. Are you, you, so what do you think? Uh, you, he wants to do a lot more. He doesn't necessarily like the Keystone Pipeline, although he says he hasn't firmly made up his mind. He's waiting for the State Department to come up with a recommendation. But he does want to go ahead with a lot of infrastructure uh, development. You do as well, right? Well, I think there's interest in that in our party, but in, back to the Keystone Pipeline, you know, there are a lot of Democrats that support the Keystone Pipeline, as you know and you've reported, and the President's promised to veto the Keystone Pipeline. And in the later part of the speech, he talked about all the energy uh, pr production that's taking place in, in America. Well, he forgot to say that it was all on private property and that because of his policies, we're not getting the production out of, out of other property, public property, government property, that we could uh, be uh, reaping the awards from. The last thing is, just as a matter of foreign policy, clearly he, he's not living in, in, in the today's news of what's happening in Yemen, what happened yesterday between Russia and Iran, what's happening in the atrocities across the, the globe. I think we're in a pretty dangerous world. And, and I just, for one, would say, and I mean this genuinely, we want our president to shine 
overseas and abroad. We want him to be strong. We do not want the President Obama to be weak. He has to start leading across the globe. And I think Republicans and Democrats alike really wasn't, weren't buying what he was selling last night in regard to foreign policy. All right. Uh, you know, a, lot, a lot of people will agree with you on that. Uh, strong on domestic economic issues, uh, maybe not so strong on national security issues. He's been coming under a lot of criticism in that area as well. We'll see what, what happens uh, down the road. Reince Priebus uh, is the chairman of the Republican National Committee. You've got your hands full over there. Thanks very much, Reince, for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, Reince Priebus joining us uh, from Washington. Up